So about a year ago, I got a call from Joy Eastridge and she wanted to talk to me about doing a painting for their church. And when she explained to me uh, the project and, and the intention behind it, I was immediately on board. I, uh, because of my life, my personal experience, um, and also uh, it was a spiritual decision and a spiritual uh, desire to do this, to sort of fulfill a calling. I really wanted to participate in it from the moment she told me about it. Hi, my name is Donna Bird. I am an artist living in Johnson City, Tennessee, and I do oil paintings. Um, I specialize in oil paintings. I um, focus mostly on portraiture. It's my favorite thing to do. I love the process of getting to know people and uh, sort of what, what's underneath the skin. That's uh, what, I, what I love most about being an artist. Hi, my name is Joy Eastridge, and last year I went with a group from our church to a conference, and Dr. Will Gaffney spoke there, and she challenged us to think about everything we see around us and whether it reflects diversity and, and inclusiveness. And I thought about the art at our church and felt like it would be a beautiful project to invite a local artist to create a picture that um, helped us to see things a little bit differently. This painting raises a question to me about whose image are we created in and who's created in that image and of course God's created all of us and so I think this opens minds and, and mine and that uh, this is God present here every bit as much as in other uh, places and, and races. I'm Jim Welch. I'm a member here at First Broad Street United Methodist Church. And gained an interest in the project first by attending a, a January adventure in Georgia, which is a, a, a retreat, a religious type retreat. And uh, part of the attention was on diversity and uh, a number of us from this church were there and we were touched by the program and realized that, that our church uh, basically had a void in celebrating diversity in the art and the visuals that are present in, in the church. Having had experience of visiting African countries and going where Christ is black and listening to them say, well, we know that Jesus wasn't really black, but he wasn't white either. And so it was an important thing to have an association with Jesus as being one of any culture. I'm originally from Mississippi. I've lived in the Tri-Cities for about 13 years now. I grew up right outside of Memphis in a little town called Olive Branch, Mississippi. And when I was growing up there, Olive Branch was truly like Mayberry. The population was just under 2,000 people. I was born uh, in 1964, and the first year of integration was the first year that I started to school. And so that had a deep impact on my life because it was also the first year that my father became the principal of the school and particularly the elementary school. But the broader impact that that had on my life was um, I was actually the minority when I started to school. But I didn't, I really wasn't aware of that until I was much older. But further than that, you know, I realized as I was older, we, had a different experience than a lot of people, but mine was a really good one because I learned how to love people. But also, just everybody was my friend. So we all grew up together. And so as she explained this to me, you know, my personal experience, my personal background played a lot into my desire to do the painting. I was excited about the painting that we had done because of uh, Words don't always express what we really mean or feel. And to me, this painting says it all. 